Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is HKH191 and this video will be primarily how to install the Business Mega Pack or the TBMP for um, Script Hook V version 3 because I know quite a few people that have been getting it wrong. <coughs> okay, so first off, let's just give these a download. Now it's going to take you to here and some of you are using the latest version which is point, point 0.02. So just give those a download, and I'll start. <coughs> You'll also need native UI, so the one that I always recommend is the GTA 5, is the GTA forums version. So it should be the first um, hit on the Google search. And always use the latest. In this case, version 1.9.1. So what you first want to do, you want to drag native UI into in, into your scripts folder. If you don't have one, um, create a folder called scripts with a lowercase s. Now it has to be a lowercase s because of the fact that all my mods, well most of them, reference files that are in scripts folder and I always start scripts with a lowercase. And so if you're having issues with any of my mods, check that you've got the latest native UI and your scripts folder is lowercase. So you want to drag that into scripts. Like that. Now you'll have you'll have six main files. Now you can't just drag the first v.net and scriptsv.net 2 together. You have to drag all six of them. So grab all six and copy them into your Grand Theft Auto 5 root folder. Now it's not going to like it because I have uh, GTA 5 already open so I'm just going to cancel it. Now what you have to do is you, when you download it, you, your reload key, as in previously your reload key was insert but you couldn't change it, now in 3.0 you can. But the, the developers or creators have not said it already. So you have to go into scripthookv.net ini and change reload key equals none to reload key equals insert. So locate that and see mine is already set to insert. So yours will look like, yours will look like that. But you have to go insert like that. And just close it and let's install the TBMP. So you get basically you basically get a folder like this. So now your business mods are in primary and anything else I recommend will be in secondary. So let's start off with primary. Now for any file that has an exclamation mark at the start, it does not go in scripts. It its contents does. So you have to open it and see any of this goes in scripts. So I'm just going to so I'm going to install all of these. So any business you want, you can just do, you can just grab the files and copy and paste. Now you only need one disabled business file for any of the business businesses. It doesn't matter how many you're running, if you're running one or all of them, you just need a single file. So for the same for secondary, some files have the exclamation mark, some files don't. Okay, so for, for all for the working Avenger, working mock and working terabyte, all three of them require another mod called Open Command Center Interiors. So we'll go get that. Okay, right, once you've done, downloaded, downloaded all that, all of this is going to go into the scripts folder.
and then, to, and then so once you've got your mods installed and you've checked that you've got the latest native UI and scripts, scripts native UI and that your script holder is lowercase and you've also set your reload key you can launch your game and with any trainer you can enable MP maps by pressing by going into the trainer I recommend trainer V and going teleporting other teleports and then enable MP maps I've already done it but after you do that you have to click insert to reload mods and so just do that a second to reload and it should be good Okay, so once you come in, you should see a new and a business has been installed correctly. So I did the arena war business, I think only. Yeah. And so, and so you can see if you go, look on the map, it's been correctly installed. And if I teleport over to it, it'll have all the markers, and that that will let you know that you've installed it correctly. For other mods, like in secondary, for like Working Avenger or Working Mock, you'll have to drag them to scripts and make sure you have both native UI and iFruit add-on for the open command center interiors. Let's reload the mod and see if it pops up. Looks like it did. Now, for some reason, if it doesn't pop up, if it, if it doesn't pop up or it pops up around here or it pops up way out into the ocean you need to reset it using using Okai which is open command center interiors so what you do is you open up your phone scroll all the way to the back, bottom and you'll have a new contact you want to call it and a menu will pop up And then all you want to do is go reset positions to play position. And then you want to choose the one you want. So for, for me, it's, it's the mock. And then you get the message, and then all you have to do is press insert. Like so, and it should be at our position. And yes, it is. Now, if you enter an interior and you fall down the map, you need to enable MP maps. Uh, basically, any time you enter, oh, okay, that's a any any time you enter, any time you um, enter the game, you need to enable MP maps. Thank you for thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can contact me directly in my Discord.